created from the cosmic legends of the universe. Dave Damashek Sports Contraption. A mission to fight injustice, to right that which is wrong, and to serve all mankind. So begins hour number three of Dave Damashek Sports Contraption. The phone number is 412-333-9370. About an hour from now, I'm going to be in my automobile. I'm abandoning uh, my bride, Miss Cindy, and uh, our little baby, baby Lemieux Crosby Damashek, to uh, make my way to Dodger Stadium and watch uh, the ball game tonight. Looking forward to that. I hope, unlike uh, the one fan at Dodger Stadium over the weekend, had a giant jock strap thrown at him by Ken Griffey Jr. I hope to not suffer the same fate. That fan, I don't know if you've seen pictures. Well, listen, first of all, I apologize. I don't know what happened there. It was nice to take a walk down memory lane with our exclusive chat there with uh, Pirates frontman Bob Nutting there. But uh, suddenly the phones just uh, gave out on us there. The lines died on us, and uh, that's that. Anyway... Let's see if we can give it another shot here. You know, I'm waiting with bated breath here. I'm nervous for the Ed. You know, the Ed, one of our most regular callers here, is in a little bit of a pickle. Apparently, a woman who lives next door to him dropped the baby off about six hours ago. She gave him 20 bucks to take care of the kid for just a, a little while. But now it's six hours and nobody knows where the woman is. The Ed, are you still with us? Hello? The Ed, I apologize. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, things went down here. But, you know, I've been... The whole time, just worried sick about you and this baby. What's going to happen? I don't know. You know, I mean, I, like, what are you? Are you? Let me ask you I this. I gave the baby mean, some chicken. He don't. That, the ad, that's what I'm saying. I don't think. I don't know how. Do you have any sense of how old this kid is? Oh, uh, he's a cry baby. I know that. All right. Well, listen. The little babies cry, but I mean, I don't think you should. First of all, be giving a little baby chicken. Really, I think that's dangerous. But the other thing is. I mean, you have four. You have four grown sons, and then you have a little son who's five or six years old down down in the Carolinas, if I'm not mistaken, right? But I mean, you don't have much experience with little babies at this point in your life. You're, you know, are you? What are you going to do? I mean, are you going to call the police, or what? What are you going to do here? Are you going to raise this child as your own? I wouldn't call the police. They can't arrest that baby. What are they going to do with him? No, they no, no, not arrest. He ain't doing nothing wrong except for crying. Well, I don't. I got to tell you, the ad. I mean, I think you're, uh, you know, a, a nice guy and everything, but I don't think you should be. I don't. You just don't sound like somebody who should be taking care of a little baby. You don't even know it's been six hours now with that kid, and you you said you don't even know if, if it's a boy or a girl because you're not willing to change the diaper. Uh, she got a bag in there, but I don't know. My son ain't here. I don't know where he's at. He's supposed to be. A, he's supposed to be home from work six o'clock. Mm -hmm. I don't know where he's at. Wow! So hey, been everybody leave me home by myself. I don't like that stuff. You know, I got stuff I got to go do. Well, I mean, first of all, you've got that girlfriend who's half your age. She's 27 years old. Have you given her a call? Maybe she knows a thing or two about this. I Maybe tried she to call her. She didn't answer the phone when I called her. I left her a message. I said, hello. I said, where are you at? Um, I'm home by myself, and, and the other lady left another baby here, and it ain't mine. So don't get upset. Just mm -hmm. come over when you can. And she, she didn't say nothing because it was a machine I left the message on. Mm -hmm. Now, you're no stranger to babies, I mean, about uh, to making babies. Like I say, you have five kids already, and uh, if you don't mind me saying so, you're not a stranger to, you know, laying down with women. You've been with a fair number of women. Now, like you said, this is definitely not your baby, right? No, this baby ain't mine. You weren't with the next-door neighbor? You were, you've never been with her? You never laid down with her? No, I ain't never touched that lady. No. She asked me. We was outside. There's a little park around mm -hmm. the corner from the house. And right. she says, she says, excuse me, can you watch my baby? And mm. I said, I don't know. And she said, I'll give you $10. And I said, no, I can't do it. She said, how mm -hmm. about 20 I said, I'll do it. <laughs> well, well, the ad, I mean, now you're in sort of a tough spot here. I mean, I, I you know, I don't know exactly what's going on but there's a chance i don't want to alarm you or anything but there's a chance that maybe this woman just gave you the baby and now she's gone and not coming back i mean if if she gave you the baby in the park you know how oh, she, she can even find house. out she walked if we walk from the park back to the house oh she saw at least so she knows where she you saw live, where right? I live and she left the whole like uh uh what's some things you put them in and you push them 
The baby's like a little, stroller, a little right. car roller. Stroller, I, right. Yeah, yeah. He was in there, and he had a bag and had some clothes and some uh, milk and 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 up, but... I don't. And well, have you I given the why? Well, that's what you should do is maybe give the baby some milk. I didn't have. I didn't know how to make it. It was in some cans, like little formula thing. I don't know how to mix that up. So I gave him some. Well, uh, there are directions soup. on the can there, though. Don't I, again with the chicken. I don't think that's a good idea for a little baby chicken. And you said before you might give the baby some candy. Again, I don't think that's a good idea. Yes, I drank, think you should. He drank some Mountain Dew. Well, like again, that well, that's exactly. That is definitely got, not good. I got a Red Bull in the refrigerator from last night still. All right, well, don't son, listen. Right? Yeah, don't give the baby any more Mountain Dew. Don't give the baby any Red Bull. I mean, that, that's just, you should be, read the directions on that can there and make the formula. That's the only thing you can do with this baby. And, I, you know, I don't know what to do. You know the what, we got somebody who wants mine. No, I know it's not yours, but you don't want anything bad to happen to the baby, you know. And Mountain Dew isn't going to help the baby. It's going to, you know, make it make the make it crazy. That's not good for a kid. We got somebody on the line, by the way, who I mean, maybe this is the worst possible time for this, but he's calling in because he's not a big fan of yours. He, uh, he you call into the show a lot, the Ed, and this guy, the mayor of PNC, also is a regular. And I guess, I don't know, he, I don't know what he thinks of you. Let's find out. Mayor PNC, welcome back to the sports contraption. How say you, sir? Hey, how you doing, Dave? Well, not too bad, except that we're having a little bit of a crisis here. I don't know if you've been listening in here, the mayor, but uh, the Ed's on the phone, and, you know, a, a woman dumped a baby on him, and he doesn't know what to do. What do, what do you think about this? Uh, the, the, he's telling the truth, and, and he had this baby for this long. I'd call the police and let them know because there's something wrong going on. Especially mm -hmm. if it's someone he doesn't know well. I mean, who, who, you know, who, who in her right mind would just come up to you and just ask, like, "Hey, watch my baby." Now, if she knew him for a while or something, that's one thing. But, mm -hmm. you know, if it's a total stranger, there's something wrong going on. I mean, I agree with the mayor there, uh, the Ed. What do you think about that? Well, if he's the mayor, then he need to be helping. I mean, uh, thank you for calling in, Mayor. I appreciate you calling. Well, he's and, not uh, really. He's not the mayor of Pittsburgh. It's it's just sort of a name, you know. It's a mayor of PNC. Needs, mayor, listen, mayor, you need to help clean up the city. There's a lot no. of stuff you could do around here. I mean, no, again, the Ed, he's not the mayor of the city. He's just a, it's a an, it's a name he goes by. It's sort of like maybe a nickname. Am I am I right about that, Mayor PNC? You're correct. Right. I mean, he's not doesn't hold an official position in our government or anything like that. 